Good day, YouTube. 1MJ here, and welcome back. All right, market is down a little bit. Three point is that eight percent? Yep, three point eight percent in the last twenty four hours. So you know, an ex an expected kind of pullback again. Fifty thousand is one of just those you know even number hard barriers that you know we probably yeah it's not unexpected that it was going to pull back from here. It, you know, quite often those numbers will be like that. You know, 60,000 could be that way as well, but also maybe not because it's so close to 64, the old all time high. But BTC dominance risen a little bit, which was interesting, uh, a little bit up on the volume, and GUI prices, gas prices, actually starting to surge and go up. $4 is still not anywhere near as bad as uh, what it's been, but it's definitely not great. Look, it just looks like a sea of red at the moment. Does not look good. There we go. Avalanche uh, is an outlier. So, has what's done you know well in the last twenty four hours out of the top one hundred, considering it's so red. All right, uh, Coin ninety eight uh, or C ninety eight. Never heard of it. Seventy two percent. I'm guessing it's probably just pushed its way into the top one hundred from outside. I don't know anything about it. Avalanche, nice seven uh, percent. Quant. 4% safe moon still sits at the same price but apparently it's moving uh, and Monaro and then look we're really just yeah on very minimal gains on a couple of the USD coins and then yeah it's just losses after that so hardly any gains and you know that stands to stands to reason considering the whole market cap is down this was it I think 2.17 trillion I think something like that 2.18 trillion and now we're down to 2.09 trillion so around about 900 uh, sort of billion dollars has been lost all right well I guess we've got to get on to the scary part then what has fared the worst in the top 100 considering there was only a couple of movers uh, not too bad. Swiss Borg down 11 again. This was pumping just the other day. Telcoin down a little bit. Engine, Sushi, Audius 9%, FTX Theta. Yeah, no kind of real major losses. A couple of double digit losses, and no one likes losses, but you know, I'd rather lose, you know, 10% or 5% than 20, 30, 40%. They're the ones that really, really hurt. So I guess the next question is could this be a good buying opportunity? Well, I guess long term, if you believe in the coin, I would say yes, because you're buying everything at a discount. Is it the best time to buy just yet? I'm not so sure. I think it's possible we could see another couple of days downside before we start to see some upside. You know, Bitcoin uh, and the crypto market in general has actually been pumping through weekends uh, and dumping through the weekday, not dumping, but retracing through the weekdays. And it looks like it's still doing exactly the same at the moment. So yeah. I think we'll probably see another day or two downside, maybe it'll about sort of Thursday or so. No guarantees. Things can change at the snap of uh, fingers, just like that. But that's what the current, uh, particularly Bitcoin and even the cryptocurrency market has been doing of late. Dumping through the week and then pumping over the weekends. All right, let's go to the Bitcoin chart and have a look. As we can see, pump, retracement, pump, retracement, pump, and we get a bit of a retracement. Still in this excuse me, upwards trending channel, which is really nice. And look, I, it wouldn't surprise me if we maybe came, excuse me, back down to test around about here, $46,000 in the next sort of 24 to 48 hours, bounce off this line probably almost perfectly, like we did pretty much there, like we did pretty much there, like we did pretty much there. I think we're probably just going to keep bouncing around down here before something happens to push it uh, to its new old, old, old uh, to its new all time highs. Still a chance that, look, this could roll over. It could be a fake out. There's you know, no guarantees in life. We'll have to wait and see. That's not what I'm expecting, but it is something I've always got in the back of my mind. What happens if it doesn't play out the way that I think it will? But look, again, in this upwards trending channel, it has been there for a lot longer than it's been out of there. So we weren't out of it for all that long. I mean, we were out of it longer on the upside than we were down on the downside it's just that people feel the downside more. They don't feel the upside. They're just too caught up in euphoria. All right, only a couple of stories to bring to you today. So Kraken, we know that they got a financial license over in the States. They're basically considered like a bank. They also want to do the same over in Europe. So Kraken is starting to make moves. I like what they're doing. Uh, it'd be very interesting if they can get a license over in Europe because I would say then it won't take long for them to kind of get licenses in many other places around the world. I think really if you've got a U.S. Uh, financial license a european financial license and something like singapore or hong kong financial license you're pretty much set to get them anywhere uh, around the world after that 
So well done to Kraken. And it also says, so look, they're thinking of bringing out an NFT marketplace uh, is under construction. So that'll be very, very interesting as well. You know, really open seas, the kind of marketplace at the moment for a lot of uh, NFTs, but you know, can other places get on board? Binance, oh, Binance Singapore appoints former regulator as CEO in effort to become a leader in regulatory compliance. They've had a few people, you know, gone abroad in and they've jumped out and haven't lasted long. There seems to be all kinds of eternal bickering, uh, not so much bickering, but disagreement going on, you know, with Brian Brooks and uh, the guy from Brazil who I think uh, left as well. So we can only hope that Binance uh, is going to have someone that's going to come in and fit in with their philosophy and be able to lead them, you know, into the future. Because at the moment, Binance is really kind of stuck in a rut, you know. Uh, regulatory in purgatory uh, would be one way to put it and they need to get that sorted and again not just in one place like I said you know really Singapore Hong Kong you get a a, a license a green light green light there and you know maybe even slash a license there Europe and America really you're going to get green light uh, in places pretty much everywhere around the world after that so maybe Binance is getting close to you know finally getting all this mess sorted out because it has been going on for a little while and Unfortunately, it could uh, last for a while longer. All right, last but not least. So unfortunately, uh, the Bitcoin lobby fails to sway House uh, to amend the crypto tax rules. So again, they put it uh, through initially. Uh, one senator didn't agree to it, so it got uh, passed. Uh, not passed, so uh, they didn't get up on the amendment, so it went through unchanged. Uh, now it's about found its way uh, to the House, I think, of Representatives, is it? Uh, or the Senate is what they call it over there. Uh, and the amendments didn't get up this time either. So it's looking like it might go all the way through without any amendments, and that really does have a lot of people worried. Now, Joe Biden has said, you know, he doesn't matter what, you know, regulations come out, he's going to, you know, they're not going to look at it in certain ways, but... You know, if we know one thing about politicians is that they say one thing and then, you know, all of a sudden it'll be like, oh, we just meant we weren't going to look at this piece like that, but the rest of it, you know, completely stands. And that really has a lot of people worried. So, you know, fingers crossed that there's some more opportunities to come in and get those amendments that everyone wants passed. But at the moment, it is not looking promising and is quite worrying. All right, just a quick one for me today. I am actually a little bit under the weather. I'm uh, not feeling great at the moment so I won't take up too much more of your time because I think I need to go uh, lie down and have a little bit uh, more of a sleep in all fairness all right stay safe be kind to one another you know if you are on that game train at the moment congratulations to you and I'll see you next time